We are one week away from Valentine's Day. Whether you're in a relationship or not, we've got a Valentine's Day survival guide from online dating expert Julie Spira. Welcome back. Thank it's great you. To Thank see you, you both for having me. This is going to be fun. <laughs> well, I know. So you, let's talk about relationship advice and Valentine gift ideas for people who are in relationships. It's a very confusing time, and of course the countdown clock is ticking because we are one week away, but if you're in a brand new relationship, you still need to make sure that Valentine's Day is acknowledged. So always send a card mm -hmm. or bring a card and hand sign it. You know, there's a little bit of oh. traditional old-fashioned stuff in a digital world that works. <laughs> and even though $2 billion is spent on flowers every year, you don't need to buy the most expensive roses. How about picking up one long stem rose or perhaps a dozen tulips? Okay, that Sweet, works. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Well, what about if you're single, though? How do you land a date for Valentine's Day? Landing a date is easier than ever if you're single with the convenience <laughs> of your mobile phone. Oh boy. Note, the, note hearts the hearts. The phones. Note the hearts. Okay. Um, sign up for a mobile dating app ASAP, whether it's Bumble or Tinder or even Match.com and OkCupid of mobile apps. And don't worry about the photographer. Grab some photos from your Facebook profile of some recent shots. We want to know that it actually does look like mm -hmm. you. <laughs> and write a few sentence bio and just say, I'm in the mood for love, and you know, Valentine's Day would be great to have a date. That would be great. So that's what, nervy, I, I, I would say. But what about there are people who have never done any dating online, no services, no apps. If they are thinking, okay, this Valentine's Day, I'm going to do it, where do they even begin? I think the best best place to begin is, again, is, is what I do is I write profiles for singles. Find someone, whether it's myself or a friend, and just say, I need a little help. I, I don't know how to describe myself. But make sure it's funny. Add a little humor and always ask a question in your profile because then it makes the other person think, oh, I guess I have to answer that one, don't I? Yeah. And that's how you start to communicate. How many times do you hear about people breaking up before Valentine's Day? <laughs> oh, <ouch. laughs> So they don't have to deal with it. <laughs> you know, the pressure of Valentine's Day is like the pressure of any big holiday, like over Christmas. And if somebody thinks, it's also proposal season, oh my, I need to pony up a ring, or oh. I need to say I love you for the first time and I'm just not feeling it, sometimes the easier way to go is to bail. So if you do do that, please, not in a text, not in the phone, not on an email, have a conversation with someone if you don't see it going the distance. Yeah, that would be the cowardly way to do it, text. Know, I'm breaking right, up with I, you. I'm done. Can you imagine? Uh, probably no. kids do it these days, or maybe some adults. I feel like we read some celebrity <laughs> who did it a while ago. Oh, boy. Like, oh, ouch. Yeah. Well, Julie, you look beautiful in your Valentine's Day red, so thank you so much for joining us. And Thanks come back for more me. dating advice for people who need to have help on that online stuff. Yeah. Very confusing. It is. Right. <laughs> if you want to uh, have more online dating tips, you can go to Julie's website. That is cyberdatingexpert.com.